Hey family, welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. So, scrolling through Facebook again, got another story for you. Stay tuned. I was scrolling through my Facebook news feed and of course I came across another story. Of course it's relationship related so I wanted to come here, share it with you guys, give my opinion and absolutely want to hear what you have to say about the situation, okay? So, I'm a 26 year old woman and my parents died when I was 14 years old. I dropped out of school because no one can afford to pay my fees. I met a guy when I was 16 and he sent me back to school. He sold fruit on the street so that he could pay my school fees. Big ups to bruh. He later got a job as a truck driver and sent me to the university. So really? Send her back to school, high school or whatever, and then sent her off to college, university, same thing. Now she's working as a lawyer. So big ups to him for helping her get to where she needs to be, right? My problem is, mm -hmm. I feel I cannot continue this relationship because this guy is not the type of man I would like to marry one day. Hmm. How best can I tell him that he is not my type without hurting his feelings? Hmm. I want somebody in my own class, not a truck driver. Please help me. When I seen this story, I could have went through the damn phone on her. Because really, you ungrateful little girl. Like, okay. You wasn't saying that he wasn't your type when you was out on the street, didn't have nothing, couldn't count on nobody. You was out, out of school. Literally out of school because nobody could pay your fees. This man sold fruit so you can get your education in high school. Then he became a truck driver to get you through university. So now that your little ugly self is a lawyer, now he's not your type. He's not your class of guy. And now you don't see yourself marrying this type of guy. Really? Wow. You so ungrateful. You are so ungrateful. And this is that type of ugly behavior I be talking about, y'all. So you wasn't saying any of this that he wasn't your type when he was helping to pay your fees at at the school or at the university. He was your type then. He was helping you out. You wasn't turning down none of that stuff because you wanted to get your education, right? That was fine to do. But now, because he's still a truck driver, which, by the way, him helping your little ugly ass out, which is why he's still a truck driver. So y'all could have a good life together. Because I'm certain he wasn't saying, okay, let me do all of this just as your friend. I'm certain he y'all probably, probably moved in together and did some type of a life together. Right? Because what did you just say? Aha. Uh -huh. Uh-huh. My problem is that I feel I cannot continue this relationship because this guy is not my type. I would not like to marry one day. So y'all in relationships still. And now that you're a lawyer, now your little ugly self don't want to be with a truck driver. Well, how come you wasn't pushing him? Let, let just, just, just for instance. How come you wasn't pushing him to get his education while he was helping you out? How come you wasn't saying, okay, you know, even if you wanted to be selfish here, to work harder so you can also go to school too. While I'm in school, only going to school, you taking care of the house and everything. Work harder so you can get your education too. So that way we are be, that way we will both be of the same class when I'm done with school. So now he's beneath you. Wow. I ain't never seen nothing like this in my lifetime, y'all. Some, some, some people are just so selfish. Now, am I saying that she could have not fallen out of love with this guy? No, not saying that. It doesn't sound like she just fell out of love with him, though. It sounds like because of his profession up against her now profession that he helped her get, now he's not good enough for her. So that's my issue with this. It's not so much that she can't fall out of love with this guy. She ain't say nothing about her 
falling out of love with him because, you know, he beats her up. He's an abusive guy. He doesn't take care of this. He doesn't take care of that. You know, she didn't say nothing about that. Only thing she mentioned was the class. And this is horrible. Like, really, this is horrible. Because now that you got yours, y'all know what I be talking about. I'm going to get you before you get me. So now that you got yours, now it's time for you to go. How come you can't, Miss Lawyer? Bear with me, right? How come you can't, Miss Lawyer, now that you got your crap together? How come you can't, Miss Lawyer, send him back to school? Or ask him if he's okay with where he's at. Maybe he's the manager. Maybe he's the owner. Maybe because he's driving trucks. That don't mean that he's a nobody. He had enough common sense to know that you needed to get your education. He had enough common sense to know that he wanted to help you. To help y'all. Because that was supposed to be a y'all thing. That was never about you go and get all of your stuff. Leave me behind. That was never. Mm -mm. Nah, you can't even tell me that it was, sis. This is super ugly behavior. And then we wonder why these guys come out there and then they be hard on the next girl. This is a situation where this guy will never want to help anybody else. He'll start to have a hardened heart because of your little ugly self. Man. This mess right here. And now you're on Facebook asking people, how can you tell him that he's that you don't want to be with him without hurting his feelings? Really? Or maybe you could warm it up and be like, you know what, boo? I got mine. Thank you so much. Now we about to get you. What business you want? What You want to go back to school? Let's do the school thing. But now you ready to walk away. He, sound, he, he damn sure sound like a good man to me. So now you're just going to throw him in the trash? You're going to throw him in the trash because now he's not of your class. Well, you actually ugly. You double ugly. Yeah, I said that in another video. But you double ugly right now. It don't even matter how cute, how fine, how sexy, how beautiful you are. You ugly. You ugly for this right here. What y'all think? Y'all tell me. What y'all think? I want to know exactly what y'all think. What would y'all do in this situation? Okay, especially fellas. Fellas, let me know. Have any of you been in a situation like this where you have helped your girl get to where she needs to be and all of a sudden now she don't want to be with you because you are beneath her now? Or did she come up to you with some situation? Maybe y'all wasn't getting along. Or did she start all of the fights? She wanted to start doing all of the stuff to build up all of this animosity so you could leave her. Like, I want to know, like, has anybody else been in a situation like this? Let me know, because I need to know, am I wrong for my feelings, right? I'm wrong for my, because I'm in my feelings about this one. Not that this has ever happened to me, but this is just an ugly situation to me. And this is some of the things that I be talking about, people and their ugly, ugly behavior. People just being ugly for no reason. So now that you didn't got yours, now it's time to go? Wow, that's something else to me. I ain't never, I just ain't never seen nothing like this. And I, I just, I, yeah, I, I just need to hear what y'all got to say about this. I just need to hear what y'all got to say. I'm ready to read these comments. I'm sitting there like this, just waiting to release this video. <laughs> Let me know what y'all think. If this is your very first time here to I Love You Me, go ahead and hit the red subscribe button or the icon with my lovely face. Of course, give me thumbs up because here I Love Me Me, I am helping you guys decrease the divorce rate, right? Help you decrease the divorce rate. Bam! Hit that. Bam! Hit that. <laughs> I'm sick. See y'all soon. Deuces.